Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Um, today, um, or actually, if you aren't subscribed, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Sorry about that. Brain's on vacation still, kind of thing. <laughs> it's funny. Um, hold on. The weather has changed really funny out here. So my throat's all dry. Um, but today, um, yeah. Um, if you notice, I did trim my hair. I need to go actually get it professionally cut. Because I just can't get to get the back correctly. I keep trying and I don't want to cut much more off. <laughs> but today I want to play with, um, a Beetlejuice. This is a palette from Hot Topic and stuff. And I wanted to try it because I just remembered I had it. And my sister was nice and bought it for me. But it has two highlighters and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve shadows and stuff. And you can see I have never took the film off. And I've had it for a while. I've just been so busy with other things that it got pushed back. And, um, if I can even get the thing film off. I do some have some highlighter on my face, but it's so subtle. I may try one of these on top. If I can ever get it open. If you hear wind noise, my window is open. I'm trying to get some fresh air in the house. It is stuffy. I finally got it off. So it's mostly greens. Like, very dominant on the greens. And a few... The purples are all shimmers. <laughs> so, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. And let me grab my highlighter brush. So I'm going to use... Because they have ghost with the most and never trust the living are these two right here and I think I'm gonna do the never trust the living and see how that comes out and I got my elf highlighter and we have to use my finger not bad oh yeah you can see now not too bad kind of because I have a KB a vegan beauty their um, holographic highlighter on the pink and just seems so subtle I didn't want it I forgot that this palette had a highlighter in it but I'll swatch out the two on my hand to see the difference because one's like a green base it looks like yeah, one's a green base and one's a silver base so here they are I don't know if you guys can see it but there is um, the ghost with the most and never trust the living. And you can see, oh, come on, on my finger too a little bit. Sorry, guys. But they are pretty, very pretty. So, oh, let's see. Rotting house, the B word. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to take a dense brush and I'm going to pack on, I have my eye primer already, I'm going to do the one eye. And I'm going to do the rotting house, also slightly. Just pack it on right here, I don't want to move it anywhere else. But I'm going to just pack it on right here. And my eye creased. Let's to darken that area. Okay. I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to go in with... Um... Hmm. Third time's a charm. It's more of a mustry green. Jocelyn! Yeah. Turn it down. Yeah, it's more mustery green. And I'm going to put that right here and see or I'll probably top it off that it's very interesting I'm going to top it off with a little gasoline it almost looks like an avocado green okay that's not too bad yeah. Mm 
Okay, it's not too bad. I think I'm going to use Make My Million, which is a little bit of an in-between the two colors. And put that down underneath. They sh it would have been nice if they had a purple matte in here, but they don't. I'm going to go back in with that black just so slightly. Okay. Let me see. Do I have it out or is it still hiding? There it is. All over here. I'm going to use my finger and put down some glitter glue. And I'm going to use the purples. And I think I'm going to use Beetle Breakfast as my inner corner. Just to give a little gold. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to use the... I'm going to swatch them out. But there is these three purples. I want to use the Showtime, but I'm tossed between Say It Once and Paranormal. So I'm going to see which one I like the most. So I'm, I'm going to use it on this hand. Because I do have a cut on this hand. Ooh, is that not coming out? I have to kind of work it to get it out. Oh, that's very light. Alright, so, mmm, I'm gonna, the paranormal is, I'll probably pack a little bit of that on the black, because it does not have nothing coming out of it. So, I'm gonna use, first one, the showtime, and I'm having to press into this palette a little bit. Flipping that around and going in with uh, say it once. Okay. Not too bad. I'm not disappointed. And I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to go in Beetle Breakfast. That could be super light gold. And I'm going to. That's really light. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Ghost with the Most. See how that one pops out. The highlighter just so see. I'll just do the combination of the two, which doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to go off camera and recreate this look on the other eye. And I'll let you guys know what I think of this little palette that's from Hot Topic. I know their formula has gotten better over the years and stuff. But sometimes it's a hit or miss. So give me one second. Let me recreate it on the other eye and put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I accomplished to... Uh, do too bad not bad some of the areas it seems to be a little bit of lacking of pigment and stuff I think I pressed a little too hard on this eye and I got rid of some of the black I know I did but it doesn't look too bad very grungy but it is not too bad mm, sorry
but yeah, it doesn't, it's not a bad palette, but I have to say, it's for like, people just want to have fun and play with palettes and stuff and wanted a gimmick key um palette this is worth it and stuff it's cute i think she didn't pay the normal price which is a uh, uh, 16 so and it's funny because they show it very differently in colors compared to this like that green is so muted this is not accurate at all. Very inaccurate. It is a beautiful palette and everything. It's cute. But, um, if you just want something simple and stuff, it, it's worth it and everything. Um, but yeah. Let me go to what I have on my lids. I have my e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner in black. Or black is black. Jocelyn! Turn it down. Um, my NYX Epic Wear in Gothic, or Berry Goth. And, um, my lips is... Not this one. I decided to try it and see how it looks. I'm not a big fan of it. And stuff, and I should just get rid of it. It's Soul Sucker from Jeffree Star, which has that, um, gold flakes in it. Not very attractive, but... Because mm, it's already getting on my teeth. Hold on one second. It was like, ah, uh, there. Oh, sorry about that, guys. It was like in areas it should not be in. But it was. On my teeth. I was like, eh. Not very attractive. But you, I noticed when I smiled in the mirror. I'm like, I really don't want to show you guys that. <laughs> but yeah, um. My lashes are from classic, um, horror lashes. They're from... Um, LA Splash Cosmetics. It's the Creeper. I absolutely love these lashes and stuff. I haven't worn them in a while because I don't want to wear them out too much because, um, I don't even think you can get them on their website anymore. Um, I know I bought these off of Amazon and I'm absolutely in love with them. They're like one of my favorites besides, um, the other two I have. But, um, I hope you guys like this video. I know I'm not very all there. I'm kind of just very down on what's going on. But, um, I have something planned fun for tomorrow, which is the 1st of October. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm not really doing very much of the Halloween-y stuff this year. Because, I don't know, my mindset's not really there to do creative looks for you guys. Because I feel like I will let you guys down on them. I'll try to do a couple, but here and there, I may do like a 13 days of Halloween, and I would do some like gimmicky eye looks that are inspired by spooky things, but I am not going to do a whole 30 day, or 31 days, or 30 days, or whatever of Halloween looks, because I don't really have it in, to, in me this year, like I have had, um, before, but, um, yeah, this year it's just going to be very simple. It's going to be a couple um, artistic looks, special effects looks, and um, mostly going to be like um, inspired eye looks from things. So we'll see how this goes. But I want to do a... I have an idea for the 1st of October. I'm going to do a spooky glam look. And I have two beautiful palettes I will plan on using from this amazing company. So, you just have to wait till tomorrow. I just want to let you guys know that beforehand. And I don't want you guys to expect me to be doing the 31 days of Halloween thing. Because I don't have it in me this year. And I'm sorry, you guys. I feel really bad for not doing it. But I need to think of myself. And trying to do that with my house. And right now we're trying to move things around and take care of things. So, it's very struggling. But, um, yeah, I do hope you guys do like this video, and if you do, give it a like down below, leave comments, I would truly appreciate it. Um, and if there's anything you want me to attempt during, um, October for Halloween, 
an either an inspiration look or something, let me know and I'll try to accommodate and my eyes are watering. Like massively. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm like really dark. I don't know what the heck. But my eyes are all watering. But yeah, um if, back to the normal gif. Um, if you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and... Sorry, I'm not here. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I do try to air multiple times throughout the week, give or take what's going on. But I hope you're doing good, staying safe, and I love you all. Until next time, okay, guys. Bye! Hmm.